go from there of 10 xcorekit.com and if you like this video don't forget to smash the like button share this video comment down below if you like it and subscribe my channel if you have not done yet so today we are gonna do c++ user input now before we start user input of c++ let me remind you 14th of november is children's day i'm i i was not able to uh make the video and post it on the diwali song uh, on diwali um, because all the guests had came so i was not i was quite busy but this time i promise that i will make a video of on of playing a song on uh, the piano and teaching you as well all right so let's get started I'll minimize my screen. Okay, dokie. One second. Okay, my volume is full. Google Chrome. So I have opened Google Chrome and here's W3 Schools. Learn Python. Oops. Uh, why did I came to Python? <laughs> I needed to go to C++. Sorry. User input. C++ user input. C++ user input. You have already learned that Cout is used um, to output print value. It's saying that you already know. I, I know and I've told you also that Cout is used when we want to print something in python we write print right but in c in c plus plus you have to write c how to print anything so it's saying that we you know that you know about c out uh, that it uh, prints anything and today you'll learn something new which is known as cn it's saying now we will learn uh, we will use cn to get user input now basically it says that you know about c out right but you don't know about cn so cn is basically taking input from somebody we take input now from somebody like uh, in python we give input and the user which is using uh, is typing something and we give them something as the output. So in C++, you give as CN. In Python, you give as input. And in, in C++, you give as CF. Now, CN is a present... Wait. Predefined, yeah, predefined. CN is a predefined variable that reads data from the keyboard with the ex, uh, extraction operator yes. so basically it's saying that cn cn is uh, pre predefined it is predefined variable now this variable what does it does it reads data which is given from your keyboard whatever you have written you have written from your keyboard it reads that data with this operator this operator and this is this operator is known as extraction operator okay no in the following example the user uh, can input a number which is stored in the variable x then we print the value of x so, mm -hmm. let's see, just let's give her five. Okay, so this is our output. We, it says give a number. So we type a number. So it gets you, our number is five. Now let's see how. So we are doing int x, okay? X, y, int x. Now we are saying C out type a number and we are giving type a number in quotes this part. So this is printed as as it is like this, right? 
and we have given this in comment type a number and present right it's given in comments that type any number and present on your keyboard now you are saying cn uh, x now cn x is basically whatever like um whatever the user whatever the user is giving the number that is being stored in x and then it's saying cnx okay so we take input right basically let me do it clear see how we are saying type a number we have got type a number then we are saying cnx so the value which is um which is this number whatever it's given is stored in x right get user input from the keyboard now it's see out your number is so it's printing now your number is now and then this extraction operator and then x so first it would print your number is and then whatever the user has given the value i had given here 5 so first it would print type a number I had given 5, it has stored the value in 6 and in x. Then it printed your number is and then it printed x. Right? Okay. Good to know. C out is pronounced C out. Used for output and uses the insertion operator. Yeah, we know. And CN is pronounced cn <laughs> cn used for input and uses the extraction operator so it's saying c out is said like say c and then out so c out is used if you want to print anything and you use this operator which is known as the insertion operator and then cn you pronounce it as cn cn and it takes some it takes an input from the user and in cn we use this operator which is known as extraction operator creating a simple calculate calculator in this example the user must input two numbers then we print the sum by calculating adding the two numbers Okay, so we are for we are saying that int x and y and in sum. No, let's see. We are saying see how type a number in those codes, right? So we'll type here in 5, 5, 10. Now let's see how is this output coming that 5 plus 5, 10. How is it getting? So, we are making two variables. Then, we are making another variable, which name is sum. We are saying C out type a number. C and X. So, um, like, we are type a number, so it's, uh, uh, like, getting this. And then, we are saying C and X. So, we are going to type a number here. And whatever the number is, is to the next in this variable x. Then we are saying, see how to type another number. So we type another number. And we say c and y. So this number, it takes the input, the number. Now we are saying sum is equals to x plus y. So... Whatever the user has given the number, it's been stored in x and in y. Now, it's saying get sum x plus y. The sum variable's value is x plus y. Then we are saying see how sum is. So, it would print sum is like this and then sum. So, whatever the value is, it would print here. Whatever we'll have so understood so basically we are making three variables x y z i mean sum my bad 
then we are saying first type a number so we type a number the that value is stored in x now we say type another so we type another number and that value is stored in y then we saying that this variable which we have made sum is x plus y the both the numbers which the user has given to us now we say see how sum is so it would get sum is right here and then sum so whatever the uh, value will be of sum it would get it now 5 plus 5 is 10 so basically isn't like this cool it's not let it won't let us run oh, oh man i will have to open REPL then let's leave so did you see we can make our own uh, calculator we have known to add now we can like just uh, like make uh, the subtraction the division the multiplication and there you are we have got a calculator next video we will be doing data types and show and send me the link um send me the link in the comments and i will check your calculator thank you so much guys oh i forgot there's excess i will <laughs> there you go you just built a basic calculator now c plus plus exercises you're gonna do this not me mm -mm. let's see Use the correct keyword to get user input stored in the variable x. It's saying that we need to get an input. So if we want to get an input, we'll give saying in first here. And it's saying store that value in x. Stored in the value x. It's saying give me that x. So with that value which is stored in x. So we are gonna write here x, right? Correct. Now fill in the missing parts to print sum of two numbers, which is put in by the user. So we know that to take the input will give you cn and that value um so it's see how type a number. So first thing will be saved in the first input would be saved in x and then we get c out type another number. So for the input we are gonna give it a cn and the the next value which the user gonna say is gonna be saved in y. Now it's making on a, that variable's value as sum is equals to x plus y and we need to get the sum. So we'll just give here sum. Oops, sorry. Now this is an error, guys. Tell me why it's an error. I know it's an error. You're gonna tell me why it's an error. Oh yeah, smart. Yes, we have given here capital S instead of small s because it would be thinking that. There is no sum variable, right? It's key sensitive. Now there is no sum variable with the capital S, right? Now it would get correct. Ooh. Wasn't that cool? We have already done. So guys, I really hope you liked the video. If you did, smash that like button and well. See you all next time, guys. Bye. Yeah.